Howdy, howdy. You know who it is. It's your boy, the compulsive climber, you know. Um, I'll even... Instagram says Tristan climbs. Check it out, you know. Um, but anyways, my my roommate moved out, which is totally fine. But the reason why I'm making this video, because during the conversation, the, my roommate moving out, I was like, ah, oh, you know, I just may like get rid of half the furniture in the living room and make a climbing wall. And uh, so far, no plywood's back there, but um. I impulse um, spent like four hundred twenty-five dollars on the wood, and then I needed some tools and like little screws and stuff like that because I don't have that stuff. And then just a little couple other things. That was another two hundred twenty dollars, so that's cool. And then since I'm in an apartment, I don't want to scratch these floors and then have them rip my giant security deposit that I put down. Um, so I got like this gym matting. Um, just so it doesn't like scratch the floor and all so yeah, um, this is me starting this and Gonna regret it probably when I move out of this place. I am here for another year, so it's Not really a Concern as of right now, but we'll, we'll we'll get there when we get there. So um, yeah Pretty sure the saying's not exactly like that, but we'll make it work. So I cut my five boards, obviously messed up on the first one because I've never used a circular saw. So, um, messed up the first one, but it's okay because I got extra knowing that I'm a dumbass. Knowing that zero is not exactly where you're supposed to put it. But you know, it's okay. It is okay. So, you know, we got our pieces cut here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put together the the board, not the whole thing tonight, that'd be crazy. But I wanna get the frame built and kinda just prop it up and see if my height is the right height, cause it should be. Cause I accounted for this, the bottom being different. So we're gonna mark out the studs and everything and uh, keep going. All right, so I have finished the basic frame. I'm gonna put the, I don't wanna do the blocking inside to stabilize it and everything today, cause I have to cut more and it's getting kind of late. So I don't wanna bother everyone, but I got the frame done. Um, so now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna set it up to do these, uh, the like support legs. I gotta figure that out. So, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get in my room yet. Probably just throw all this on top of it. Successful first day. <clears throat> all right, so I made some dinner, had some, you know, tacos and all. Um, now I'm just prepping the plywood because it doesn't take any power tools. So um, right now I have them all stacked on my table. I have them stacked and I'm getting them chalk lined out. So it will be easy peasy. Last one. There we go. Got the grids all marked. I'm gonna do dots with the Sharpie in case somehow this fan turns on by ghost and um, blows off the chalk. We're back, we're back. Um, so I just had a climbing sesh up here, um, but you know, I gotta get this thing set up and see the angle, make sure I'm okay with it. I think the angle is pretty good. I'm, you know, just from touching the ceiling. I got this first block in to help support. I haven't tightened it yet, but I'm gonna have a board here. After I cut this, this board's gonna be 
you know, supported down there and over here. That way I can remove the ladders. I want to get it self-standing this weekend and all the plywood. I want the holes drilled, which I should be able to do tomorrow. I'd like to get it stained because I don't want, you know, this to be the color. I want it to be like a little bit gray. Not fully, I still want to see the wood texture, but you know, we make it look nice. We go over the top. We're here and we're uh, we're learning. I think I'm done for today. Freaking 10.15, I didn't get much done, but I, I kind of got all my things marked so I can cut them tomorrow. Not super late at night. I, don't, I think I have neighbors, you know, like on the other side of that wall. And these walls are hollow thin. This place is from the fucking 1830s. So this one pretty much done. Um, this was just to hold it while I was getting things lined up. Um, but we got a bolt, we're gonna put um, construction screws. Same thing, construction screws in here. This board will have construction screws going into it. And I'll have another bolt down here, I think. I don't know which way, I may have to cut this shorter because I don't want it sticking out and being a hazard for falling or for tripping over here. But yeah, we got it pretty much set. I, dude, honestly, I just want to say like, fuck it, fuck the neighbors. But I'm a nice guy, you know, I'm a nice guy. I try, I try to keep it calm, but it's still 10 at night and I was using the fucking skill saw. So it's, it's okay, but you know, honestly, fuck the neighbors. Cause like their shower is too loud for me. So we're gonna be a nice guy. Look at that. It takes up the whole fucking living room. The angle is pretty sick though. I think it's a good angle. These are the screws I'm using. Oh, you can't. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's too bright. Anyway, we are getting there. We're getting there. We're gonna go hard tomorrow. All right, so just woke up. It's uh, nine, uh, 10 o'clock. Wow, perfect. I think I've got to start off by doing my cuts on this side here for the triangle base and then uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna make this quick real quick. You know what it is. Um, first board, I got stained and I got the T-nuts in there. It's a gray stain. Yeah, it took way longer than I thought. Made a lot of noise, which I didn't like. But the first board's done, only three more to go, so. So we got bottom board on. We got this plywood done. All this plywood's painted. I have to put all the T-nuts in, all of them. Um, I just, it's Monday, so I got more T-nuts. Um, and I was working up in Cheyenne, and on the way down, there's a climbing gym selling old holds. So I went by there, um, bought a bunch. Anyways, I got back at three from Kansas, um, back to Colorado, and had four hours, and I was like, I'm gonna finish my climbing wall. So I didn't record the rest of it. Um, I had like the bottom row done. I basically hammered through the next four hours of like setting ordinance time. Got it all done, got all the plywood up, got all the holds up, I had like three bad T-nuts, which I'm gonna replace with the ones that screw in instead when I get those. Um, that fucking first hold I did got stripped. And so the one little hold did not get done. I got it out of the piece of plywood. Um, so I don't have this hold. I can cut it, but I'm not gonna do that tonight. I can do it tomorrow um, away from all the fucking noise. But we got the wall done, and here she is. So she's at like 34 degrees. I got all these holds from a gym. I don't know, some city like Northeast Denver. They were getting rid of a bunch of old holds. Um, I got all of them and got some bolts. Spent like 150 bucks on like 50 holds. I think it came out to like $3 a hold basically, which is relatively cheap. Had to drill a couple set screw holes in a couple of them. I need to still put set screws in some of them, 
But besides that, we're pretty good to start climbing on it. But look at this beauty. It's gonna be great. I got some undercleans, jugs, slopers. I got, I'm lacking pinches. I got like one here, one here. I got a couple pockets, underclings, and like nasty side pulls, but, and some jugs at the top. And I started off by setting a couple replicas, not like full on replicas, but just like one or two hard moves from climbs that I want to do. One of them is Megalodon in Newland Creek. Um, it's like a V7 with a crazy heel hook to like lock off powerful to a shitty hold. Um, and then there's Jaw Lives, which is like a V5 or six that I didn't get to do, but I think the move was really cool. You start low on like a sloper and then go up to like an undercling and then lock it off. So I set that move and we're just gonna play on it a little bit. And I think I'm warmed up well enough to do some decent moves. What if I just can't do any move on the wall because I made it too steep with shitty holds? Got too many jugs on the wall, so I had to like turn them sideways and stuff. I still need a lot more. Jaw lives. This is that two finger under. The jaw rolls. Uh, crux is like this. Hardest drop knee fucking reach to a shitty hole. Yeah. 